Wide aerial landscape of painted desert land formations pass below at sunrise. It was John Muir who said, nature is ever at work building and pulling down, creating and destroying, keeping everything whirling and flowing, allowing no rest, but in rhythmical motion, chasing everything in endless song out of one beautiful form into another. Title, Petrified Forest National Park, more spectacular than ever. Blue sky with moon above, colorful petrified wood. Time after time, layer after layer, beautiful rainbow-colored fossils from the late Triassic are discovered here, exposed and accessible for everyone to experience. Petrified Forest National Park holds one of the largest concentrations of petrified wood in the world. From times long past to the here and now, Petrified Forest is more spectacular than ever. Person walks along rust-colored rounded formations of the Painted Desert. You just go out there and there is nothing around. No sounds, maybe the wind. You're just walking around in just these beautiful sculpted badlands. There's all these geological features. Two men in National Park Service uniforms walk over crest of sand dune. The men with hats and backpacks walk up toward another crest and along a narrow desert wash. One of the men climbs up to a rock with a rough organic texture along its surface. Paleontologists are studying the history of life on Earth. Here at Petrified Forest, we're interested in dinosaur origins, and this is a great place to find early dinosaurs. Two National Park Service paleontologists brush at the ground surface. A pair of hands pick up a small fossil. The title, Layers Through Time, reveals over a hilly desert landscape. Four women and two men with backpacks and tools hike along the landscape. People hike along a narrow trail through the hills. Paleontologists dig below the ground surface. Paleontologists at Petrified Forest National Park are exploring the Chinle Formation, an ancient landscape abundant with fossilized remains of flora and fauna from the late Triassic period. Wide aerial of giant geologic formation with different colored bands. When I look out at rocks, I see layers. And each of those layers was the land surface at a certain point in time. And animals lived on that, plants grew on it and interacted. And then eventually another layer was deposited on top. Animals and plants grew on that one, another layer on top. Paleontologists brush away at the land surface. As each layer is exposed, clues are uncovered shedding new light on the spectacular story of Petrified Forest. Clouds pass quickly by the peak of a large jagged hill formation. If we could go back in time to this part, we'd be basically be sitting on the edge of a very large river channel. There were large conifer trees dotting around the edge of the channel at the time. So the ground cover would have been ferns, cycads, tree ferns, plus some plant types that are extinct today. Everything from freshwater mussels to fish, amphibians, reptiles, all the way up to early dinosaurs. Two paleontologists walk up to a fossil embedded in a rock. When you find a bone, this is actually the remains of an organism that once lived and had a life of its own. And a lot of times what you'll find turns out to be something new that nobody's ever seen before. Just a hike up one of these cliffs is to go up several million years in time, and we're constantly thinking about that. So we do get the sense a lot of times that we're time traveling. Lightning flashes as eyes stare. A planet with a large landmass and water rotates. During the late Triassic period, the continents were joined together, forming the supercontinent of Pangaea. The site of Petrified Forest National Park would have been located near the equator, about where Costa Rica is today. 
the climate and landscape of the region would have been much like Costa Rica. Over time, shifting tectonic plates split Pangaea apart as the new continents drifted to their current location. Uplift, erosion, changes in climate and volcanic activity gradually resulted in tremendous change. Today, Petrified Forest National Park is part of a huge expanse known as the Colorado Plateau. Park roads and trails provide vast vistas and wondrous walks along the colorful Badland Hills, flat-topped mesas, and sculpted buttes that make up the painted desert. Clouds pass rapidly as the tidal Moments of Discovery reveals above the broken logs of petrified wood. A person looks into a microscope. There's just always something fascinating about being the person looking through the glass and getting to know the stories of these animals. The museum curator blows dust off a fossil. We get to see these fossils for the first time ever. And so we really get to know the personality of the creature that we're taking out of the rock. These fossils, they're like, they're like rocks held together by sand. And so they really want to fall apart. Plus they're about anywhere between 220 to 208 million years old. And so they've, they've been through a lot. So you get that, that framing, you feel like you're watching it happen on a movie almost. It's hard for people to realize that outside of where they are in the moment, time has been moving all around them for literally millions, if not billions of years. We're just one speck in that, that huge expanse. Clouds pass rapidly by Badland Hills and a hoodoo in the foreground. I feel like I'm traveling back and forth in time all the time. <laughs> ages pass by uh, with every drawer I open. A large reconstructed fossil resembling a crocodile floats by. Many petrified wood logs are in the foreground as a person jogs in the background. A visitor takes a photo of a park ranger. Visitors look out at a distant landscape as a person reads a wayside. The shadow of a person walks with a hiking stick across the cracked ground. Minutes. Hours. Days. Manufactured measures of time have little significance here. At Petrified Forest National Park, it is the natural world that marks out time. The sun sets behind an old rusted Studebaker. The title, A Crossroads of Culture, reveals at the side of the car. Low stone walls are in the foreground as a train passes by in the background. We sit right at this crossroads of these major corridors where people have really been moving back and forth across uh, northern Arizona for over 10,000 years. The park archaeologist photographs a petroglyph. One of the missions at Petrified Forest National Park is to preserve the cultural history. The park archaeologist hikes toward a wall made of petrified wood. The park archaeologist with a colleague points to landscape. Petrified Forest is the only national park that preserves a piece of Route 66 passing through it. A sign reads, Historic Arizona Route, US 66. The Painted Desert Inn was built in the mid-20s. People were able to get off Route 66 and stop somewhere, get a bite to eat, spend the night in the hotel. In the 1930s, the Civilian Conservation Corps began constructing several projects including the renovation of the Painted Desert Inn and the development of the Rainbow Forest Complex at the southern end of the park. The Painted Desert Inn, now a museum and national historic landmark, features a series of large murals painted by celebrated Hopi Indian artist and educator, Fred Kabodi. These murals depict his visual stories of different aspects of life in the Southwest. One of the murals at the Painted Desert Inn is the Hopi to Zuni Salt Lake mural, depicting a story of moving between the Hopi villages across the Southwest, hundreds of miles to Zuni Salt Lake, and coming back home again. 
Large semis pass along a painted desert landscape. Today, people come down Interstate 40, but Interstate 40 is following much older routes. It follows Route 66. Route 66 follows the Old Trails Highway. But all of these kind of historic routes are following much older routes. We have evidence of human occupation going back at least 13,000 years. In order to survive, people used petrified wood for thousands of years to make stone tools, including arrowheads, spear points, and scrapers. At Newspaper Rock, petroglyphs were left behind by generations of ancestral Puebloan people who lived, farmed, and hunted here. Present-day American Indian descendant communities have profound connections to this land and provide insight for visitors seeking to understand what is represented in the petroglyphs. We have a lot of interest in rock art here in the park. It's a way that people can see something that a person directly in the past created. A human figure, animal, and circular shape appear on a rock face. A shaft of light intersects a petroglyph as the title Summer Solstice fades in. An archaeologist places a flag. At Petrified Forest, archaeological discoveries reveal the transition from the nomadic hunter-gatherers of the Archaic period to the settled farming communities of the basket maker period. Clouds pass quickly over badland hills and mesas. Through time, basket maker pit house dwellings gave way to the large scale above ground Pueblo period structures, represented by Egged House, located near Rainbow Forest, and Puerco Pueblo, located near the Puerco River. Uh, as an archaeologist, we get to see how people in the past lived. We can try to reconstruct what their daily lives were like. We get to, to try to really travel through time. Clouds pass over a giant log of petrified wood. The title, Forests of Stone, reveals. Many petrified wood logs are randomly strewn on the ground. Over 200 million years ago, toppled trees were buried in sediment along the ancient river system that used to flow through this land. Instead of decomposing, the porous wood absorbed the minerals from the silica-laden water, and over millions of years, quartz crystallized within the wood's cellular structure. Impurities in the quartz, such as iron, carbon, and manganese, created the rainbow of colors we see today. They are vivid and striking in color rich benzentine red, deep greens and purples and yellow, white and translucent or dark in all color blendings. These logs show the bark, the inner fiber, and the veining as perfectly as would a living tree. Lillian Whiting, visitor to Petrified Forest, 1906. Millions of visitors like you have left park resources in place for everyone to enjoy today. Petrified Forest is comparing present-day images of the park's most important sites with historic photographs from the same vantage point. The comparisons show that the vast majority of petrified wood is right where it was 80 to 120 years ago. Help honor the legacy of Petrified Forest National Park and protect its spectacular resources. A storm cloud builds as lightning flashes. Raindrops fall on a rocky outcropping with badland hills in the distance. Raindrops fall on desert grasses with badland hills in the distance. A wet desert wash reflects a gray sky. There's a small patch of blue in the sky. Rainbow arcs over badland hills. White wildflowers sway in a breeze. The title, The Living Desert, fades in over yellow wildflowers and a giant log of petrified wood. A man with binoculars in a National Park Service uniform walks past a fallen tree. A lizard hunkers down atop petrified wood. A raven looks out at rocky terrain. Another raven lands alongside the first raven. The National Park Service person walks along with a handheld device. As you visit the park, depending on the season, there's a, a wealth of animal life. If I'm there observing an animal and that animal can see me, I won't get an idea of its natural behaviors. 
Petrified Forest has placed wildlife cameras throughout the park. Activated by motion detection, the cameras enable the staff to collect data about the different animals that visit the area. By looking carefully, we can also get a general health indicator of the animal, whether it looks healthy or whether it's sick. The National Park Service park biologist looks through binoculars and a telescope on the bed of a pickup truck, and antelope grazes. The moon and stars shine through clouds beyond a hill. One of the most important studies that we conduct in the park is continuing a long-term monitoring program for reptiles and amphibians. The park biologist slowly drives a pickup at twilight. It's important to drive park speed limits at all times, including dawn and dusk, when wildlife can be especially active. He exits the truck with a flashlight. Lizards and snakes derive their, their energy from absorbing heat, and they'll do that from the road because the road cools down much more slowly than the air. Each specimen is quickly identified, and its condition is evaluated. Another spectacular thing about the park is its night sky. Stars move rapidly along a night sky over a field of petrified wood. The Milky Way rises above petrified wood. It's just a great viewing area for the Milky Way. Aerial perspective of the painted desert badlands. The title, Discovering the Spectacular, fades in. The park is expanding, and as we've added these new lands, uh, one of the things I see in the future is a different opportunity, a different way to visit Petrified Forest. A muddy river flows past desert grassland. There'll be opportunities for more intimate experiences. The sun sets behind the Badlands. I hope that everyone has an opportunity to take away an aha moment. It's so incredible to see an entire landscape that looks nothing at all like anything you're used to. It's really comforting to, to see the long passage of time here. You know, these logs have been here for a long time and they're gonna be here for a long time after. There's a lot more here than just petrified wood. There's all these other fossils, uh, there's archeology, span there's, there's biology. And just look at the scenery and it's absolutely incredible out there. The vast expanse of time and the, the populations of creatures that came and went is almost indescribable. I did not think the Petrified Forest was this big. This place inspires me to get out there and really explore more and learn more about the park. It's incredible. The sight from down here is in just incredible. As you drive through the park, it may look like there's nothing here, but it was a thriving community. And at different times, there were thousands of people that were living, working, and making their lives here at Petrified Forest. Aerial of a road winding toward the painted desert landscape. Drive the park road. Hikers walk along a trail through the painted desert. Take in the extraordinary vistas of the painted desert. Aerial of the vast painted desert. Explore accessible trails through fields of magnificent petrified wood. People hiking. The sun shines over Agate House. Human and animal petroglyphs reveal on a rock face. Discover voices of the past in the petroglyphs. Aerial of the red-colored painted desert landscape. Petrified Forest National Park is more spectacular than ever. A person in silhouette walks towards the sunset. A title reveals, please join the millions of people who have visited the park and left it undisturbed for future generations to enjoy. Petrified Forest National Park Chief of Interpretation, Richard Ullman, Petrified Forest National Park Film Group, Andrew Bridges, Sarah Hervé, Dr. William Parker, William Reitze, Matt Smith, Brad Traver. Producer, director, writer, Paul Feldman, editor, David Emmerich. Director of photography, Richard Lerner. Narration, Debbie Hirota. Production audio, Drew Levinson. Aerial camera, Brent Murray. Additional camera, Paul Feldman, Jacob Holgerson. Production assistants, Alex Mead, John Youngblood. 
Animation and graphics, Bandera Cruz, Jason Sedmak, David Stone. Audio sweetening, Mike Cramp. Post-production, Jamie Kirchhoff, Kyle Flieger, Jake Ruder. Color correction, Rick Gaugler. Paleographic imagery, Dr. Ron Blakey. Music, First Com. Visitor interviews, Andrea Bennett, Steve Choi, Daniel Goldstein, Quaymore, Carissa Suber.